Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, the travails of Nigeria's aviation sector over the years, especially in recent time, are well documented. Um, not just about the aviation sector in Nigeria, but as it affects um, other aviation sectors around the world and airlines from other countries of outside Nigeria, all these make up uh, the aviation sector in the country. Well, one of these challenges is access to, to funds, the funds of foreign airlines. Uh, and also aviation experts are advising the Central Bank of Nigeria to allow them access their funds. This has been a hot topic in recent weeks. Now, the federal government of Nigeria uh, a few days ago bowed to pressure from the foreign airlines after a number of them raised the alarm over the federal government's inability to allow them access their revenues in the country. Uh, this was said to be put at about $450 million, uh, which is a lot of money. Now, the Central Bank of, of Nigeria on Friday, on behalf of the Federal Government of Nigeria, released $265 million to foreign airlines operating in the country for the remittance of a part of their revenues trapped in the country. That's part of that $450 million. Now, last week it was reported that one of the world's biggest airlines, Emirates, uh, announced it will suspend its flights to Nigeria from September 1, 2022 over its uh, stock re um, remittance. This is uh, uh, amounting to $95 million. And of course, when you talk about Emirates Airline, you know that um, this will affect business in Nigeria um, as a lot of Nigerians rely on them to move in and out of the country. Even expatriates also rely on such airline to move in and out of the country. Well, what's going on? Joining us to analyze and discuss this issue is none other than aviation analyst and assistant secretary general of the Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative in Lagos, uh, Olumide Ohunayo. Uh, Mr. Olumide Ohunayo, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you. Good morning. All right. Um, so, so please help us uh, understand what, what's going on. What could be the reason for the federal government to not allow these foreign airlines take the monies that they have made legitimately out of the country? Well, that's, that's a question that begs for answer. That begs for answer. Um, it's, uh, this, this is not the first time. Um, anytime we run into um, a monetary crisis, um, you find that the central bank will delay in remitting these funds as uh, as enshrined in the agreement, in bilateral service agreement between Nigeria and the respective countries of these airlines. Um, uh, like I said, it's not the first time it happened in 2016, uh, and later they uh, paid, and, and sometimes in the 90s too. Uh, but uh, the first thing about that, we, don't, uh, we shouldn't be on the list of, of countries owing uh, uh, foreign airlines they are their requisites and their uh, uh, funds. And uh, we have Zimbabwe, uh, uh, Venezuela, Lebanon, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Iran, uh, Iraq on this list. Is this where we want to be? So um, I, I think uh, what happened was, was, wasn't a good one. They came, the IATA team was here in March to see the vice president. Uh, actually, they wanted to see the president. And uh, at that, after that time, it was about 293. Uh, million dollars, uh, and uh, by, by, by June it had jumped up to, to over over 400, uh, and as of today it's over 600. If you if you if you add uh, non IATA airlines and um, other related uh, 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 aviation companies who have to remit their funds. Well, 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 but do you think that it's okay for experts to actually say that uh, the crisis in the aviation? you know, sector should be blamed on the CBN. We understand that remittances, non-remittances of accumulated revenue, uh, the delay of all of that is a problem. But would it be okay? Because we also have, if you look at internally, uh, a certain oldest operating carrier had suspended our operation. And there's other issues that some persons have mentioned. So do you think that it's fair to say that um, the avi aviation crisis that we're experiencing in Nigeria should be blamed solely on the Central Bank of Nigeria? Uh, I totally disagree with that position. Um, uh, I don't think... Um there's anywhere in the world whereby uh, if the airlines come together with uh, policy decision, push their policy with the government, even if the central bank would uh, uh, buckle to them. The, the only area I can put on the federal bank, uh, on the central bank, sorry, 
is that one, the, the monetary policy, uh, presently, as we have now, whereby the Naira is free force every day, uh, that you cannot, uh, the aviation is not immune from the economy. So, as affects other sectors, we affect the uh, aviation most because most of the, most of the operational costs are in dollars. So, I, I, I have issues with the financial policy whereby the official rate and the power market is a wide margin which has allowed round shipping, which were an, an funds, very scarce. That has affected not only cost of operation, it also affected the cost of importing fuel and increase the price of fuel. I, 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 I put that blame on um, uh, CBS squarely because yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's their primary uh, uh, responsibility to manage our monetary policy. And that has been a big mouth. That I, I, I agree. Again, on the remittance of funds, I, I also put it on the central bank because what the agreement, the budget agreement says that every, uh, after every day sale and all charges, all domestic charges, tax expenses have been paid by the foreign airlines, the remainder, the, the remainder revenue should be remitted at the official rate, not at the black market rate. Because the air, those tickets were sold at the IATA of, uh, of official rate, which was about 444. It ranges between 440, 430 to 444. And it, it, it depends. And before I have to fix that rate, they always fly with, with the central bank before they fix that rate. So, but, so after all payments of Nigerian charges, that means to the airline uh, agencies, uh, uh, service providers, the taxes, requisite taxes to the federal government and other uh, payments, even, to, even bank charges, the remainder of those funds are to be remitted on a daily basis. Again, if you look at the cost of of remitting every uh, the, maybe the, the, the airlines have come by uh, uh, there was an agreement okay, let's make it monthly uh, six, uh, by, 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 by um, uh, maybe quarterly you know this is an agreement that goes up between each airline and central bank on that but then to to hold on uh, for, for the amount goes of about, about 600 million we now became the the highest debtor in the whole world because the total debt to foreign airlines what's the matter is it is 1.6 Billion naira, uh, billion dollars, sorry, over six point one point six two billion dollars. As at uh, uh, second week in August, that, and Nigeria was 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 owing six hundred million. So we're the highest, and then there was, was not an. Venezuela is the only that is owing about two billion dollars, and uh, airlines have stopped operating to into Venezuela. And that, and this, I think this this was what those airlines saw, and they know what to have um, made the same mistake again. By allowing their, their first year to minutes. Hence, they made noise. They tried as much as possible. Let, let's get this far. They tried as much as possible before they went into the option of stopping flight. The first they did was to write to what's called the government to IATA. IATA wrote about several, several times. The airlines, Emirates in particular, came to Nigeria, met with the CBN, and the CBN promised to remit that it happened. Then, sometime in June, they wrote a letter. Taking that they agreed to reduce their frequencies and uh, frequencies they missed, uh, schedules into Nigeria because of the biting uh, 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 lack of funds from the from the operations into Nigeria, and even they even uh, um, wanted to pay for aviation fuel that they are using, they wanted to pay in naira. The oil marketers in Nigeria refused to accept that all oh, the naira, and said they must be paid in dollar. So the and then they operate into Nigeria, into Nigeria, they would have to bring dollar in, into the country. They, they, could not, they could not get dollar in, in Nigeria for that operation. They could not get access, access to their money in dollars. So they have to bring from the, from the, from the head office. So how long are they going to continue that? And they're operating on the daily flight. So they started with the reduction of flights. And finally, they put they said they were going to pull the plugs, come tomorrow, and then, then, then they should be reacted. It, it, it's quite unfortunate. And uh, uh, I understand what you're saying to me in that um, for every day that uh, these airlines have their money trapped within the country, because Nigerians are paying in Naira and not in U.S. dollars, as the Naira is going down, the value of that money that they have trapped in this country is also diminishing. Um, so if we pay maybe uh, $500,000, $250,000 for a one-way ticket, for instance, the dollar value of that 250 k would have reduced by the time the money gets to your hand if it is trapped in the country. And this is really scary. Um, you mean, for an airline, a global airline like Emirates to say they are halting their flights to Nigeria is a scary situation. And then for you to put Nigeria, to, to remind us or inform us that Nigeria is now in the category of the likes of Venezuela. Um, I mean, is the economy not, not in, in, in the junk state as if care is not taken? Um, federal government being broke? Because this seems like uh, a federal government trying to grasp at any money they can hold on to to 
to allow government function. Um, and and it obviously therefore means that the economy is, is almost um, a, a junk economy. Uh, I want you to talk about the state of the economy, the signs, the signals that such an action of being the highest debtor to international airlines in the world, like you said, what does it mean? What does it portend for Nigeria's economy as far as uh, foreign investors are concerned, as far as Nigeria's attractiveness is concerned? Because when we talk about foreign investment, we want them to bring their money into the country to multiply it and take it out. Um, so I want you to speak to that. But also, the the... In, in this, on the same day that this information is coming out, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority is hitting the head, knocking the head of local domestic airlines who are owing aviation agencies in the country about 46 billion naira. And they're saying that they will seize the licenses of these domestic um, airlines who are owing the, the aviation agencies that money. Uh, if they don't pay that money, um, within 30 days, beginning from August 30. It's the same government that is not giving the foreign airlines their own money. It's knocking local airlines for not giving them their money. So what do you say to this? Oh, yeah, you have a couple of questions there. Uh, but let me try and uh, start from the first one. Um, for me, um, when you did not meet with international trade uh, agreements and uh, did not show commitment, to, uh, to to your financial responsibilities in the international community because matter of is an international agreement. You tend to rubbish the country. We made a black eye. Make no mistake about it. Even even uh, even if the uh, has paid part of the money, we made a black eye by that action, and there are the consequences. There are consequences. Um, the, these international teams, economic investors, they meet, they discuss. It's, it's a global village now. So you, when, when you think you can owe uh, Mr. A a run to be, those days are gone. If you owe Mr. B, he was going to pick it from business and your, your account is Mr. A. That's, that's the, 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 econ the economic systems are wired all, all over. Now, look at what has happened now, is that we, we have shown that we're, we're, our credit rating was affected by that, by, by, our, by our indebtedness, and I expect, like your report said, there will be apathy uh, of investors coming in because who, who, who wants to come and who wants to come and put money in Nigeria and cannot take his money back when it's time for profitability? Who wants to take that risk? And that's why you find that all, almost all the projects under the roadmap of the Federal Ministry of Aviation, they, till today, it's eight years now. They're about five months away. No, sorry, they're about uh, seven, seven, uh, eight, eight or nine months to the end of their tenure. They are still not able to achieve one, one of the of, of roadmaps, not one. I, I, those, those are required, is, is it the airport concession? Is it the, 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 the new Nigerian um, uh, carrier? Is, is it the uh, uh, aircraft leasing company? Is it the MRO that the maintenance man um, repaired uh, an overhaul um, uh, this is, um, complex that was supposed to be built? All these are not large, but you need investors to do that. And those investors are those who are coming. <coughs> Sorry, I'll come from outside the country. Now, again, coming coming to directly how this will affect Nigerian airlines. When you go to lease aircraft outside the country, this is what has happened. The lease rates, the lease rate will be higher. Conditions will be a bit stringent because nobody wants nobody wants to lease an aircraft. I'm not I'm not be sure you will get that money. And I'm, I'm waiting for the new national carrier that's going to, that wants to lease. But listen the aircraft. They will meet this, this condition that will happen. Consider that this, the, 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 this national carrier is not being pushed by government. They will meet this condition that I'm, 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 I'm talking about. Even to, to insure your aircraft, it will affect the premium. They will, they will put on future condition. So they, they can be sure that their money will come out. Or to deter you from coming to them. We are, we, are, we are in a situation where there's a global inflationary trend. Nobody wants his money tied down anywhere. Everybody wants his money. And that's why you, 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 you can see the for the foreign airlines. At the rate that the letter was depleted, the dollar was getting scarce. It didn't raise the alarm. Let us have our money. Let us have our money. But it kept increasing. And during this period, the source uh, behind the my, my, uh, uh, convention, dollar was being thrown all over the place. Yet we cannot meet it with our financial responsibility. We are paying, uh, for, uh, sending money to the Jewish Republic. We cannot pay our responsibility to those who have. We were, we were, we were to paying that uh, uh, responding to so that 
So some of this is affected really as uh, like you analyzed. And then, uh, like I said, those are the effects on airlines itself when it comes to leasing, when it comes to buying buying shares abroad, when it when it when it comes to sure this the, the conditionalities, the rate the rate will increase and we must get because of your credit rating. Now coming to the discourse yesterday with the uh, with the NCA, the NCA went hard on the on the domestic airlines. I am sure the government tried to uh, 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 use that to, uh, to the cushion effect that we're not the only one owing, uh, they are also owing us. I, 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 I was wondering why the time needs to be the, the period where people had, had, um, had lapooned the government for delaying paying foreign airlines. Again, these are Nigerian airlines. The, the, for the, the, the money required are in Naira. Payments are in Naira. These banks, these airlines have accounts in Naira in Nigerian banks. You can't owe agencies in, in, in the foreign countries like that. You can't. So why are they owing here? Why are you allowing them to owe you up to that amount when they have a bank account that you can, you can garnish, that you can have an agreement to deduct from source? So when the agencies are ready, when they are ready to leave the apron of government-managed bodies to commercial entity, they will get their money. Well, um, let's also look at, you know, the... Uh Aviation sector, I mean, looking, looking at the airlines locally right here, uh, there were some indications that unless the federal government at some point take decisive steps to curb uh, the insecurity and address the crisis in the sector, economic activities across the country may worsen uh, and, you know, the downtown or, you know, the downtown would continue to be on the other side. Now, one of the issues that the local airlines are faced with, and if you go to uh, the airports now, you probably find a lot of persons. I mean, it's quite scanty because some persons are not, you know, patronizing the airlines because of the high camp price. And that's due to, you know, the aviation fuel. I'd like you to share your thoughts on that. We have airlines who have actually been, you know, in business for a very long time. Some of them have reduced, you know, um, their, their transaction. Air flights who would probably, you say you have flights like 10, reducing to seven, six, and what have you. It's crippling on a daily basis. The dominant factor for the reduction in the passenger, uh, passengers flying at the moment in the high again, both local and international uh, usually capitalize on this, uh, which which, uh, which is coming to an end probably by today uh, in, in the travel industry, you know. Um, and uh, during the summer, most people tend to to uh, you don't find them, and that's why you see that the uh, airlines I just announced um, that I was going to stop the Lagos New York. They will retain the Lagos Atlanta. So anybody that wants to fly to, to New York via Delta now would have to go through Atlanta or fast partners, which are ever uh, KLN. Now, so so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the international road to show that the, the airlines always have a reason to cut frequency. If it is not demand push, it would have to do with uh, fuel, safety, security, uh, even aircraft availability. Or, or even um, um, limiters of funds. I, I, I like this. The airlines are in the best situation on the local market. The Nigerian air carriers be, um, began to reduce not only on, only in frequency, they were also reducing uh, uh, to a uh, point of uh, uh, destinations that they were going to due to the fuel crisis, uh, which, which has moved the fuel price of 119 in January to about 900 naira. That's what that, 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 that's crazy increase that uh, uh, hit the, the, the Nigerian uh, uh, carriers because we import fuel, and because we import fuel, and the poor uh, uh, of the Naira has also uh, added more fuel, added more uh, burning fuel to to the crisis because it uh, the, we, we, we the cost of um, getting. <laughs>
going to have taken those options of cutting their flights uh, on some roads, reducing capacity, uh, uh, instead of using bigger aircraft, going back to the smaller one, just to manage the, the, the fuel uh, with, uh, with the, the with revenue. Yeah, revenue is the number of passengers that can carry. The, the, the real factor, due to the necessary real payment to ensure the losses are, are reduced. I remember, look, mark my word, loss is not profit. Okay, uh, 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 Olubide, we, we're having a bit of a, a, a connection issue the, the, the with you, but can you hear me, sir? All right, yeah, we're having a bit of a connection uh, uh, issue with you, but um, if you can hear me, I earlier asked you to speak about the the way this um, uh, repatriation or remittance of, of funds works. Um, uh, there's something called the BASA, the B-A-S-S-A, -S -S -A, which is some sort of um, uh, uh, arrangement which in which Nigeria is legally bound to allow these airlines... I remit their, their funds in U.S. dollars. And um, uh, just to try and understand this, you know, properly, because you're the expert to help us, uh, is it the government of Nigeria who is meant to look for the U.S. dollars to pay these, these uh, airlines? Or when they receive the funds, since the money goes to them directly, if it does, they now have to source for the dollars themselves. Please just help us understand that. Hello, right. you me? Mr. Hunai, are you there, please? Yeah, I am there. Okay, so, so ju just to understand how this works, um, are the airlines the ones supposed to, when, when, when they get paid, and after they pay the charges and everything they need to do to the aviation agencies, the government of Nigeria, um, are they the ones supposed to, who, are, who look for the, the U.S. dollars and then they attempt to repatriate the funds, or is it the federal government of Nigeria who has to give them their money in dollars? All right, all right. Uh, uh, oh, we say apologies for that, but it, it, it's it's a very, very immersive, very um, uh, technical uh, area, and uh, which I guess has attempted to uh, help us understand. You know, because um, what some experts are saying is that um, they they have to take the money out in U.S. dollars now. If they have to take it out in U.S. dollars, and then the government of Nigeria is the one meant to dip their hands into the current of countries' foreign exchange, you know, reserve to give to them, we're facing a foreign exchange crunch or scarcity, you know, and a uh, uh, paucity of, of forex in the country. Uh, so that becomes a problem. Yeah, that, that's not and, even and, news. And then, no. and then you you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to um, blame the the. The federal government, what, what would you, what the would CBN, you See, Be, because so the, at, at the, at the coffee, end of the day, you coffee, look at you look at problem. hard hard economic decisions that need to be taken by the government of Nigeria. The agreements the country gets into, which are binding, but I which mean, may not necessarily be in the interest of the country at a certain point in time. That's why I wanted him to be able to unpack. Yeah, that because that's his the S part, but it's very obvious that you know. FX is a big issue, you know, for us right now. Foreign exchange is a major issue. But if you look at the law, we understand that, you know, countries would always act in their interests. That's expected. And so when countries of different nations come together, they would always respect their own interests. And so they would act, take decisions that would favor, you know, national and local policies. That's what it is, not to favor, you know, international policy as it is in Prague that, uh, you know, prosperity, global prosperity is the case. Because if global prosperity is the case, the law states that for every other time, at the end of transaction, uh, finances, I mean, funds should be remitted to every airline. You know, we're talking about sales right here. Because uh, when, you know, this payment is being made, there will be deduction of taxes and what is left can actually be refunded. But that's not the case. So the you law know, has been breached here. The, the law is the, not respected. The, the, the but if is Nigeria that, is going um, to make an excuse that, hey, you know, the, the, the it's difficult. The thing is that Nigerians but pay, really, yeah, Nigerians pay now. I mean, if you want to... That's pay. what we're saying, that is a yeah, problem. You, you so, so it might just be that we're acting in our own interest. Yeah. But really, we're breaking the law at the end of the day. And it's in fact We hope to have maybe at some point in the future, Alumide Ohunayo back. But he's um, an aviation analyst, uh, assistant secretary general of the aviation safety roundtable uh, initiative. He joined us from Lagos. So we'll be right back uh, to talk some more right here on Plus TV Africa. We have a guest with us in the studio on the breakfast. Stay with us.